Hello friend, recently I got this question from one of my NRI viewers from Australia that sir, how much money I can transfer, I can expatriate from uh, India to Australia or for the example any other country apart outside India. So what is the limit on that? So in this video, I'm going to explain you uh, the limit and some other important parts, important facts. So stay tuned with me. So hi, I am C. Tiwari and I look after uh, NRI taxation. Uh, FEMA compliance for uh, my firm and in this short series on uh, NRI taxation I am trying to answer all the small questions or you can say simple question FAQs or uh, commonly asked question whatever you can say so that you can be make up uh, you can be stay informed when you are selling property in India or dealing some kind of business transaction or personal transaction in India. So the question is very simple how much money you can transfer you can get this answer very easily go on the Google but apart from that there are some nitty gritty you have to understand. The first part uh, if I say that apart from this if you got any other question related to NRI taxation or FEMA uh, or, or uh, you can say NRI TDS uh, when you are selling property you can put that question in the comment section so either me or my team will come back and answer that. If it is a personal question personal information please don't put that uh, put in the mail and then we will try to answer uh, that uh, query as soon as possible. Now coming to the point this is a very simple up to 1 million dollar you can transfer without any restriction from India. So this is the maximum limit it is a per year limit and this limit cannot be ne taken to next year that means you cannot say sir I am India I am outside India for 10 years and I have not transferred anything so uh, can I transfer uh, say 10 million for this year because there is so it's a limit not transferable it's 1 million per year if even you transfer 50 million uh, sorry uh, 0.5 million in this year you cannot transfer uh, 1.5 million next year so it doesn't allow this is one thing you have to re remember further the limit which you can transfer outside india depends on what kind of account from where you are transferring that money and second important part what kind of income you are transferring so this all things you have to take into account that what is the account you are using for expatriating and what kind of income you are transferring outside India. So generally for NRI if I say there are three kind of accounts uh, like first is NRE account, NRE account, second is NRO account and th uh, third is called FCNR foreign currency account. So basically the limit is only the 1 million limit is only applies on if you are trying to transfer your money from NRO account. So again I am telling if you are transferring money for NRO account then only this 1 million limit is applied because NRI and FCNR both accounts are basically foreign currency you are basically earning your foreign income and you are parking that income here. So because it is earned from outside India the Indian government cannot put condition on the transfer because it is a money which is earned outside India only in case of NRO account because this is an account where you park your Indian income. So for example, you are receiving interest, you are receiving rent from your Indian assets or Indian you can say FD or you are receiving dividend that are generally has to be credited in NRO account and then from there you can if you want you can take it to the country where you are staying where you, where you are permanent resident now or you are taking the citizenship. So this is very clear now if you are selling property in India it will go to NRO account right and there are also some restriction on the type of income so there are different type of income can be uh, possible it, it can be rent it can be interest it can be uh, profit from sale of shares it can be uh, from sale of property so there are limitation on that also which I am going to tell you now. So as I told you already that uh, uh, the limit of 1 million is only applicable on NRO account. So friends apart from this if you have got any other query you can definitely put as a comment section but I will try to keep it very simple. So in NRO you can receive two kind of income. One income is called repatriable income which you can transfer up to 1 million and second is called non repatriable income which you cannot transfer. So what is repatriable income? So repatriable income includes your rent, interest, if you are selling a property yes you can repatriate that also up to 1 million per year so that means if you got in getting 2 million you have to use you have to wait till 2 years happens okay 2 financial years and in India the financial years for the sake is April to March right uh, second important part the non repatriable income is the mutual fund the profit from shares and mutual fund if you have invested 
in that mutual fund or shares from your nro income that means from indian income so from indian income if you're buying mutual fund uh, uh, or buying shares you cannot take that money outside india so in nutshell apart from share market related income you can take all the income outside india up to a limit of 1 million per year this 1 million dollar so hope this question is properly answered and if you got other questions you know what to do just put a comment or write me and either me or my team will try to solve this so that's all in this video thank you have a nice day